Okay, so just a quick update on my uh, Deadbolt uh, ransom case with QNAP. And after six weeks of nagging, after some a, a bit back and forth, uh, trying to enable the remote uh, access and that failing because they didn't actually try to access it in time, me nagging them to try again, and then some firmware updates and blah, 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 back and forth. And finally, I got a message this time, not from our uh, lovely Yemma, but uh, from Ramos. And his reply was, hello, Thomas, thank you very much for your patience. According to our security, they were not able to recover the Deadbolt landing page. So if you already paid and has a key, you can try one of these methods, blah, 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 blah. And, and I was like, fuck you guys. This is the same message you gave me the last time. And I report, don't you dare mark this as resolved. We are not done yet. I cannot pay and get a key because your malware removed the ransom note. So I don't have the account number or sum to be paid. As far as I'm concerned, the fact that I was attacked and robbed of any means of retrieving my files uh, is all QNAP's fault and responsibility. My QNAP was set to automatically update to the, learn, to the latest firmware, so don't try to blame that on me. Either find a way for me to recover my file, pay for the master key, or offer me some kind of compensation. This has already been reported to the police as a criminal, as a criminal offense, and I am not above starting a class action lawsuit against your company. So, so far, Deadbolt apparently has collected over 2.5 million in small ransoms, according to foreign posts, which could have been avoided if you had paid the 1 million for the master key. Please escalate this to your managers. Hello, thank you very much for your feedback. I would like to try again to restore the Deadbolt page, so please can you enable uh, again and help us remote. I enabled the remote. Hello, Thomas, thank you for your feedback. I have access to your remote uh, you're now remotely and was able to restore the Deadbolt page. And there it was. Why did I have to threaten QNAP with a lawsuit before they finally lifted a finger? Because they didn't want me to pay the ransom. That's fine, but that was my choice, not their choice. And there is my Bitcoin uh, address, and there is the amount that I'm supposed to pay, which unfortunately is 0 0.5 Bitcoins, which is closer to a thousand euros, which is a bit steep for some nostalgic files and I, that I hopefully hope I don't need. So I probably won't pay this QNAP. I just want the option to. It's my choice, not yours. Uh, <clears throat> but the thing was, if I go here, I also created uh, this. Uh, PDF of the different pages, so I have them laying around. And the thing is, uh, this is very helpful. It has like more information that you need, and uh, payment and payment are also encrypted in the files. So, in case you lose access to this page uh, on your files, you can use this uh, tool. So, that is this tool, which is a simple HTML file where you can simply upload your encrypted files. And it will give you back the payment address and the amount that you're supposed to pay. This was generally everything I needed. And I can also see that this is the same as this. So they didn't just bullshit shit me and just put in another uh, landing page. This is actually the right page. So that's good to know. I'm going to leave a link down in the description uh, for an HTML file that you can download and uh, run, which will uh, give you the Deadbolt tool for retrieving your Bitcoin address and some. Now, keep in mind, I have not paid this ransom, so I don't really know if this will work, but I believe it will. I actually think that this is quite legit, and I think that they're, they've, they've taken steps to make sure that this works. So... Um, yeah, I would trust it, but you can't take my word for it. It's on your own risk, so you know you know that, right? I am actually going to create a, a separate disk and just start saving all the things that I don't have copies of uh, that are encrypted. 
into its own little drive, or I can free up the disks on my QNAP uh, NAS. And uh, I'm going to sit around and wait, because Interpol is actually working on this, and uh, rumor has it that they're getting close to getting them. And they have already uh, decrypted some of the keys. Uh, and if you want to know if your key has been decrypted, you can, I will leave a link down in the description. So this is Interpol's site, which is deadbolt.responders.nu. And you can upload any deadbolt file. You can see that you're not a robot and submit. And then you will see if there is a description key created for your files. For me, it's not found, unfortunately. And you can also use uh, your Bitcoin address, which will also give you the same result there. Uh, I'll give it, I'll give them six months to see what happens. And if I figure out that I have some files that I actually need, uh, then maybe I'll consider paying the ransom. But the ransom is actually 0 0.05 Bitcoins which is quite a lot. All my important things are actually saved on my cloud, so they're okay, but I still want my files back. So I have to see what I'm missing and make a judgment call when that comes to it. But I'm not going to pay yet. I actually heard of this system can actually stay up for years and you can still pay whenever you like because the Bitcoin address has already been created and it's automated. That means that my competition from the last video, where I offer you 300 euros to uh, find the correct encryption key, uh, is still valid. So far, I think QNAP has done what they can for me. At least they gave me my ransom note, so I could actually have the opportunity to pay the ransom if I want to. That helps. Because then it doesn't feel like somebody robbed me of it. Now I can sit on it and consider it, and uh, I probably won't pay it. But um, I have the opportunity to if I figure out that there's something here that I really, really, really need. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to. And I guess I will talk to you later.